Good morning, Circle Church. Happy New Year! Woo! Praise God, we made it, we made it. Glory to God, we thank you, God, for bringing us into 2022, Father. We pray not to waste this year, God, but to live it through its full potential. God, we want you to burn in our spirits this year. Help us to do what you've called us to do this year, Lord God. Let us not waste a moment. Are y'all ready to give God all the glory that he's due on this first Sunday in 2022? Amen. Well, me too. So let's do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We love you, God. We love you. We love you so much, God. You're so mighty, God. You're so strong. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Lord. Glory to God. You're a great defender. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Yeah. And my God. So strong, so mighty, and my God's plan for me goes beyond my wildest dreams. My God is big, He's so strong, so
wonderful is your name. If we plan to serve him the rest of our lives, that starts today. So can we just give God a praise and a hand clap and a thank you for all that he has done, all that he is doing, and all that he is going to do? For the rest of our lives, we get to serve him. And because we have the promise of eternal life, 
and Jesus Christ, we will get to serve him in the afterlife. So can we give God a hand clap and praise in here today? Thank you. I want to first say Happy New Year to everybody. On behalf of Pastor Vincent Smith, the senior pastor of the Circle Church of Alexandria, we want to say Happy New Year's to you and thank you for being here. For those that are tuning in online, you could have chosen to tune in anywhere, but you decided to tune in with us this morning, and for that we thank you. Speaking of that, starting in 2022, I want us to pull out our phones. And if you are connected in any way to the Circle Church of Alexandria on social media, can you just share this morning service? If you have your phone out, can you share this morning service so we can get the service out to as many people as we can? Because there are people that you know that we do not know. And so if you can share that service, we would greatly appreciate it. I just wanted to talk about this concept uh, shortly of, of help. I remember back in around 2003, I was a little bit cocky and arrogant at that time. I was uh, stationed in Ramstein, Germany. I was in the gym one day with my boys and we were all in there squatting. And my boys put a bunch of weight on there and I saw some people walking in the gym and I was like, I got it. Go ahead and put that on there, I got it. And they say, Los, well, you want us to spot you? I said, no, I got this, bro. And I got under that squat bar and I bent down and I could not get up. And my boys had to run to the side of the bars and they had to help me get that squat bar up. And I realized at that moment that it wasn't about being cocky or prideful, but there are times in our lives that all of us need help. And this morning, pastor's gonna preach from Psalms 121. And he's gonna talk about how the Lord will be our help, especially in a time of trouble. And I'm reading from the New King James Version this morning, and it, and it reads, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence come my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He will keep, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. From this time forth and even forevermore. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, I know that those who heard that short illustration can think of times in their life when they needed help, when they needed someone to spot them, whether it was in the gym, whether it was financially, whether it was to meet a need, whether it was a time when they had suffered a tremendous loss and someone came alongside of them and helped them. We thank you this morning that you have been our help whenever we needed you. From the beginning of 2020 to now to 2022, Father, we still need your help. We still have a virus that is running rampant all throughout the world. We still are, are losing people left and right. We are still going through challenging situations in our personal and professional lives, but we are thankful this morning that we are still here to praise you. We are thankful, God, that you woke us up on January 1st of 2022, that we still have a testimony of all that you have done. We ask that your presence fill this place this morning and the hearts and the minds of the people in here in this place and those that are tuning in. We thank you for the people this morning, the people that you sent in 2021 and the people that you will send in 2022. And we pray for them right now, Father. We ask you, Father, that you will cover their families, that you will cover their finances, that you will cover their future. We thank you for the people, Father, because the people 
is what truly makes the Circle Church of Alexandria. And lastly, Father, we lift up Pastor Smith. We lift up his wife to you right now who is at home ill, and we pray in the name of Jesus for a full healing, Father. We pray divine health over she and her entire family. And we pray, Father, that you will give a powerful word to Vince here this morning. That you would touch his mind, that you would touch his mouth, and that you would touch his memory. That everything that you have poured into him, he will pour out at this altar, unapologetically, but with grace and compassion. We love you here this morning. And as we continue to praise you, we just want to thank you, Father. Thank you. We love you. We honor you. And everything that we do from now to the benediction is all to glorify you. It is in Jesus' name that we pray and we say, amen. Woo, we need you, God. Hallelujah. We need you, God. Woo, there's nothing like knowing that we have you <laughs> right when we need you. That you never, ever fade. You never, ever fail. You never, ever go away. But you're always here. Right in the middle of whatever we need, you're always here. Yeah. God, we love you. Hallelujah. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living. Your presence, Lord. Yeah. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love. When my heart becomes free, and my shame is Nothing worth
come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come flood and feel the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Only your presence, your presence, Lord. Your presence,
Yes, my God. That's what he sung to us Thursday. He said, exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think there's more. Can you receive that? Oh, 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 exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think there's more. Then he instructed, be not weary in well-doing. Be not weary in well-doing. Because if you don't faint, you'll be exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think there is more hallelujah my god my god my god oh exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think there's more let that be your mindset for this first sunday in 2022 it's been rough been tough, but God wants to do more above whatever our minds can even dare to think or imagine. He wants to do more. And if you didn't faint in the last season, if you didn't faint in the last season, if you didn't give up in the last season, if you continue to sow, if you continue to serve, if you continue to pray, if you continue to read your word, if you continue to love when it was hard to love, if you continue to give when it was hard to give, there's more. There's more. There's more. God does not play games with us. He doesn't. He's not stingy. He doesn't hold back. If he gave us Jesus, what wouldn't he give us? So there's more. There's more. I know we got weary. I know we did. We were doing the best we could with what we have, and I know we got weary. But if you can stand here today and say, but I did not faint. Woo! I did not faint. I didn't. And I wanted to, but I didn't. So there's more. There's more. There's more. Then you can imagine. Not even just on the level you think, but more than you can even just imagine. There's more. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Let yourself receive. First, let me tell you the text, Psalm 121, and um, I know this is uh, old and, and country and probably outside of our time frame, but I hear my grandmother saying, she used to say, I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it. I've had heartaches and pain, but I made it. I had to cry sometimes, but I made it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
before we usher another word in 2022. for that to happen nobody knows but God knows and he cares oh I'm so glad he cares he cares about little old me and little old you so stuck right there sister Kim told you look if you <laughs> you didn't quit you didn't quit and you had every reason to and you did it even hmm, you don't even realize how in 2021 God protected you from your own thoughts I'm gonna say that again God protected you from your own mind not everybody else you God protected you from you Now that seems oxymoronic. Okay, here's the thing. In the exact same way, you were kept by God from God. God kept you in his love from his wrath. Good <laughs> God Almighty. So if God can protect you from himself, he can also protect you from you. And because of that, I'm excited about what I'm seeing and what's coming forward. But just hear me good up in here. Millions didn't make it, but you did. Huh, God Almighty. All right, Sister Kim, I told you I wasn't going to be long. I'm going to be obedient. So let's pray. Father, thank you for keeping us. As we look to your word, may we rest in your watchful care. We need a word from you as we enter into this new year. Words that sets our feet on a path to follow hard after you. May we listen and tune in even now. May we push away all that required and all that pushed on us just to get us here. Father, may we tune in right now to this moment. Speak from heaven. Hide me behind your cross. All of you be seen, God, and none of me. Gather my wandering thoughts. Lift me up with the word from on high. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God, we love you. We trust you. Even when that's hard to say. In the strong name of Jesus, people of God said, Amen.
Now, I don't know if you want to clap, you want to run, you want to stomp, but whatever it is, you need to do the praise of the Lord. I pray that you do it. Amen. All right, let's have a seat, and uh, I want to share this real quick. I want to do a couple of things with you. I want to tell you that, um, hear me good, the Holy Spirit does not just speak through pastor. Let me say that again. The Holy Spirit does not just speak through pastor. So that same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives on the inside of you. Come on, help me somebody. So I think it's important that we know and we hear and we pay attention. Now, now I, I, I don't want to, let me get this with caveat. Um, you know how folks kind of talk and communicate about, well, somebody says something to me that confirmed it in my spirit and this, that, blah, blah, whatever. Like, hear me good. I, I don't believe in coincidences, number one, okay? Um, but hear me what I want you to say with this. When, when God is speaking, hmm, Lord help, when God is speaking, um, I, I also believe God speaks in community to community, okay? Meaning, I think sometimes we try to put what is God saying to me together from random thoughts and, co and or connections that are not from the community of faith we're a part of. L let me say it this way. If Peanut and them share something with you that you liked and sound good to you, and if you're trying to, how do I say this, make God say something for you. Okay, let me say it this way. Um, it's, it's, it's in your mind when you... Um, you, you want this new car, all right? You, you, you want this new truck, Lord help me with this Tundra. Um, and and uh, all of a sudden, when you made up in your mind it's the type of car you want, you can't help but seeing them on the highway. You know what I'm saying? Hear me, hear, me, hear me good, hear me good. If you've made up in your mind what you want God to say, you will go look for it in anybody who gives you a whim and thought for it. But when, but when God speaks in biblical community, uh, um, when, when God is talking to the people that I live and have relationship and I'm actually in covenant with, oh Lord, that's different. Let me say this real quick, so, uh, and, and, I, and I'll run. One of the things that uh, Sister Kim and the worship team have been talking about, you heard it in the theme this morning, was talking about more, asking God for more, asking God for more. And so I, I wanted to share with you a little bit of what I believe God's leading us to in, in 2022 as far as theme. It ain't catchy, doesn't have something that rhyme. Um, I, ain't, I ain't got none of that. Um, I, I just believe, well, here it is. Lord's calling for this, consistency and expectancy. Here's how I believe <laughs> more happens. Consistent and expectant. Hear me. Um, we didn't quit means we still got to keep going. I, oh Lord, we cannot we cannot be asking more from God without a sense of expectancy. Hear me good. We also should not be asking more from a God we don't have relationship with. That's called a lack of consistency. Lord, help me in the Holy Ghost. How this more is going to kick in for 2022 is consistency and expectancy. I'm not going to quit while I'm expecting God. We, listen, we're going we gonna to do what God's called us to do, and then we're going to expectantly wait on what he's going to do. All right, amen. I'm going to leave it right there. Let, let me read this text, and then I'm going to get out your way. Um, Psalm 121, I will lift my eyes to the hills from where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I need to read this slow and then, I'm, then I'll be done. Start over. First one. I will lift up my eyes to the hills 
from where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. I'm trying my best here because soon we're going to have folk who just shout on the Bible. So I'm going to go back to verse 1 and let you catch up and then we'll get down to the end, okay? I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Look at verse 5. The Lord is your keeper. I'm trying not to have no points this morning. I'm trying just to just read. Hmm. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Let me set the stage. It's real simple. Are you ready? This is a pilgrimage psalm. That's, that's, that's a sermon. It's a pilgrimage psalm. As, huh, as the people of Israel are moving throughout life, as they are leaving from one place to another, they are traveling. Old folks say tramping. They are tra traversing and journeying through. And on their journey... This is what, now I need you to think about this. Um, there, there ain't no SUVs. Um, there's not, um, um, what you call it, a pontoon boat. Um, there, there is no form of transportation available outside of feet and a good camo. All right? Here's what's happening. They are traveling. Hmm. Yeah. Now, you understand this. Pilgrimage was, mm, mm, was about not just, ready, not just destination, but journey. Now, let's read this, understanding what is happening. Okay, put this away. People are walking. Are you hearing me now? Does this make sense? People are walking. Let's read it again. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. For where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. I'm trying to see if y'all see it. Okay, let me go back real quick. Um, why, oh God, why should my gaze be focused up on the pilgrimage? It's, 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 re, it's real simple. There's an old story about a young, a young man who got lost, um, and he said, um, listen, um, he got lost, you know, what happens at the big old shopping mall, got lost and um, got left behind by his family. And um, the police officer came over to him and said, hey, young man, um, can you tell me where you live? And he was trying to explain to him best he could. He said, I don't really know too much. He said, okay, um, can, you, can you tell me the street? He said, I don't know the street. Um, he said, can you tell me um, about where in town? I, like, I, I don't know. He said, well, now that I think about it, he says, where I live, um, there's, a, there's, a store, there's a corner store uh, down the road from my house. And at the corner store, um, you can see 
uh, there's a church. And on top of the church, there's a steeple. On top of the steeple, there's a cross. And he said, so Mr. Police Officer, if you can get me to the cross, I can find my way home by myself. Here's the pilgrimage journey. The pilgrimage journey is this. They're trying to get to Jerusalem, trying to put feast their eyes on where the Lord is. So if I can just, watch it, if I can just focus on where I'm going while on the destination, that's just as important as getting there. Let me say that again. If I can focus on where I'm going while on the journey, that's just as important as getting there. Because can I tell you something? You, look, 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 look. Until you breathe your last, you journey. So the journey must be important. Huh? Because you don't get all of this. Listen, sanctification is a process. It never completes itself until, listen, how's, how's, how's it end when you out of here? So the journey is, I'm trying my best, y'all. Look here. Um, it, it, it's, my help comes from the Lord, he who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, but he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber or sleep. What you mean your foot to be moved? Like, um, y'all, ain't no McDavid ankle braces. Ain't no Mueller ankle braces on the journey. Ain't nobody getting taped up by the athletic trainer on the journey. Like, watch this. God cares so much about me that God cares about how I am on the journey. Now, I know, Lord, help me in here. I, I, I know that we, we, like to, we, we like to preach big God, and big God is like, he just cares about his glory. Like, of course he does. But he can care about his glory and you at the same time. Good God Almighty, like, listen, if, 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 you, if you speak big glory in such a way that you don't think that God cares about your knee being scraped, boo-boo, then I don't think you understand the providential care of the Lord. God's providential care means he cares about it all. Every single piece, every single detail, God cares about it. Because, why? Because he cares about you. Because he cares about you. Okay, all right, I'm trying. Okay, the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. What do you think is happening on the journey? Um, Y'all, welcome to Louisiana. It was 80 yesterday. <laughs> we out here in hoodies and beanies. Like, I even know where gloves work. I was trying to find and... Like, again, look, like God, watch this, even cares about the weather um, and cares about how you are protected from it. Look, look, um, scorching hot, the Lord going to be your shade. He's the shade at your right hand. Oh, I'm trying. He's your keeper. He's the shade on your right hand. Look at there. The sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night like when i read these passages before i'm like oh this just sounds kind of cute you know what i mean not realize this is about real life journey like mm, this is mm, god cares about the details to protect you from whatever it is on your journey golly god cares about the job God cares about the house you live in. God cares about the car you drive. God cares about how you are taken care of. Why? Now, hear me, hear me good. Because the only people, oh, oh, Lord, the only people making the journey are the ones who care about the glory of the Lord in the first place. Lord, I'm trying my best. The only people making the pilgrimage journey in the first place are those of them who love the Lord. Can, can, I, can I switch over now to New Testament? Um, and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. God cares about 
every detail of your journey because your journey involves him. I, good God from Zion, I, y'all, I can't help it that I'm blessed. I can't, I can't help it that God's taking care of me even when I'm depressed. I can't help it that I'm blessed. I can't help it that God cares about the small little details in my life. I have, a, mm, I have extra coverage. I've, I've, I've got some extra things involved that are not just beyond what you can see. I've got insurance and I've got God. I was full. I, th- I thought we would have ran there. I've got insurance and I've got God. I, I, I've got I've got the things in the commonplace in life. Now listen, He's not gonna let my foot to be um, slip, but I'm gonna wear some good shoes. Do you hear me? Um, I'm, 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 he's, he's gonna not make sure that the sun scorches my body. But if I got a visor, I'm gonna put that joker on. But I, here's what I know. Ultimately, I know God's taking care of me. There's the sermon. I don't know what deep stuff you want. God will take care of you. Lord, I'm trying not to go to this morning. Be not dismayed. Whatever betide you, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. Some of us have gotten so smart that we've gotten dumb. You need to remember that simple stuff. God will take care of you. I don't know what happened, man. There's a lot going on in 2021 and 2022. We got a whole pandemic out here, and there's a new strain, a new virus, this, that, whatever. I hear that. I'm saying all of that. You see everybody in here got mask on. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Look here. God will take care of you. God, I'm trying. God will take care of you. God will, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to take a minute, come on. God will take care of you. I, listen, y'all, next, next week, next week, we want to celebrate next week, but next week, six years as a church family, God will take care of you. Somebody in here, whole family has had COVID this year. God will take care of you. Some of us in here lost homes this year. God will take care of you. Some of us in here lost jobs this year. Did not get the things we wanted to go this year. God, I'm trying, will take care of you. The only thing that I'm shouting on on this psalm right here is real simple. God is a keeper. What you see, now listen, we want to go back, and you want to be real deep and find long uh, Hebrew words here, you can go back to your New American Standard Bible, all right, and you're going to see the word watch come in there a whole lot, okay? That, that's the word, that's the coverage, uh, that's the coverage of this passage, It's the watch care of God. And the way I know how to explain that is, God will take care of you. What time? 10 to 28, I'm trying to, God... I don't know. Y'all want another sermon? It's the only one I got. God will take care of you. Look, now, wait. Last verse. Or last two verses. Verse 7 and 8. The Lord will keep you. <laughs> Golly. Okay. Where, here in a minute, we will take communion. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just feel old this morning. It's, it's the, huh, huh. every time I try to do the right thing, it seems like there's evil on every hand. I don't know about y'all. I, I, listen, you can sit here and look holy with me all you want to, but if you were actually trying to be godly, it seems like there is an opportunity for evil. And he, mm, and Satan will gift wrap that joker. Do you hear me? It, it's, the, it's the way you want. It's the size you want. It's the type you want. It's at the correct opportunity in time. Nobody knows about it. Wouldn't nobody know about it except you and God. And it seems to be everywhere. Remember what I told you at the beginning? 
that God will keep you from your own, uh, own thoughts and your own self? Because hear me, it's not just the evil that's inflicted against you. It's the one you put on yourself. God will not just, hear me, keep evil from coming to attack you out, but keeping evil from attack you in. What are you saying, preacher? God will protect you from internal conflict and external conflict. Why? The Lord will keep you from A-L-L evil. Say it. Come on, talk to me. A-L-L evil. That means all evil. Maybe, okay, y'all, listen, y'all, y'all don't have no issues. That's fine. Look at, look at verse 8 then. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. If you didn't shout on protecting from evil, maybe this will get you. The Lord will keep you in your going out and coming in from this time forth and forevermore. God will protect you. God will keep you. God will cover you wherever you go from this time forth and forevermore. Golly, I'm this. Mm, 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 I'm trying. God will keep you. Maybe, do we need to testify for a minute? I need to call my grandfather. Got a chance to spend time with my grandfather over the, ah, I was supposed to call him yesterday. Um, got time to spend with my grandfather over the past uh, past week. Um, Nor got a chance to see him. Hug him real quick. Love him. Casey did too. Um, here's what I know. Um, 98 years old. 98. Um, outlived some of his children. Only thing I do when I get my granddaddy is just get at his knees and pray. That's it. I let him talk whatever he want to talk. Get at his knees and pray. That's it. Why? I'm looking at a picture of God being a keeper. I've got proof. That's the problem. You so, mm, if y'all keep getting so tuned in on small stuff, you won't look at the evidence of God being a keeper. God is a keeper. I'm looking at every face in here and know every testimony and story behind it. I'm, y'all are the proof that God is a keeper. I'm sitting there looking at you. God is a keeper. Oh my God, God is a keeper. Wait, 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 when I don't want to be kept. When I want to run. Don't you think I want to quit on this journey? I've, I've hurt my ankle. I've got a whole sunburn on the right side of my body. I'm tired. I'm, listen, everything that could fall apart has fallen apart. And somehow, everybody around you is trying to figure out, why are you still with God? Why are you still with God? Hey, look, first of all, I don't know where else to go. Second, second of all, you don't know anything about the second wind. Have y'all ever heard, I'm, I'm, I'm shouting, I'm doing this with the communion. Have y'all, um, um, ath athletes, and there, there, were, there were days, a whole lot of athletes in here, some of those days have passed for us, amen. But um, in, in athletic activity, there's a thing called the second wind. Hey, Caleb, here he is, uh, the second wind, Caleb. Um, that second wind, for some reason, gives us this burst of energy that pushes us beyond our limitations. We thought we were tired, and then all of a sudden, that second wind hits. You're like, huh, what is, what is this thing? Um, I, I want to explain like this. For, for, for those of us, when life seems to drag the very energy out of us, there's a second wind called the Holy Spirit. Um, the, 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 the paraclete, if you will. Um, li listen, this ho the Holy Spirit has got a thing and a way of using and shaping and moving us beyond our limitations, beyond what we think we are able to accomplish, all because God is a keeper. All right, I'm, listen, um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray. I'm going to pray. I'll shout in my office by myself. I'm going to pray. We're going to get ready to take 
Lord's Supper. Y'all, I'm trying my best. I'm, we'll, we'll take Lord's Supper together. I, I want you to do a couple things real quick. Number one, I, I would ask that um, if you, um, if you, if you would take a moment to examine yourself, okay? Take a moment to pray. Take a moment to seek the Lord, seek his face, and see, um, hear me good, and then see if anything in you, anything in you that needs to be um, 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 confessed, repented from, all right? If you got issues and beef with somebody else, you need to leave that at the altar. You need to leave that before the very presence of God, all right? Um, I'm, I'm going to ask you just to do that for a moment. But while you're doing that, whether you're watching online or you're in here, listen, can, can you just, I want you to look, 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 on, look on the row next to you and who's sitting beside you and who's with you. If you need to be reminded, if you need to be reminded if God is a keeper or not, just look around you. Look around you. Why do, I, why do I want myself to be consecrated? Why do I want to confess sin right now? Why do I want to seek out in my heart right now that I am right with the Lord? Because why would I not want to give my consecrated all for a person who continues to keep me? For a God who keeps on keeping me? Take a moment to pray. I'll give you some instructions what we do next. All right. The blood that Jesus 
Jesus shed for me. <laughs> Way back on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength from day come on y'all today it will never lose that old church his power oh come on and say it reaches it reaches to the high, yes, mountain, yeah, and it's lows to the lowest valley. blood Woo. that gives me strength from day to day it will Lord have mercy <laughs> his power for I received from the Lord, y'all got to calm down. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When you have the bread, let's eat together. Way back on Cal Lord, have mercy, boy. The blood. Oh, my God. Hmm. Them blood songs, man. Okay, one more time. Come on. It reaches to the highest. Yeah. And it flows to the lowest In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's drink the cup together. Hey, y'all. Be one day closer. One day closer. All right. Hey, I, I want to, um, <laughs> we got to move on. I'm trying, y'all. Um, I, I want Pastor Lowe to give you a few announcements, but um, I, I wanted to share this later, um, but I want to go ahead and do this now while I'm thinking about it. Um, we want to give you some time to prepare. Give me some time to prepare. And me telling you, hold my feet to the fire to do it. 
um, what we're going to do um, is is uh, a little different this year for for the month of January. Uh, we're going to enter into a time of 21 days of prayer and fasting. Now, hear me. Um, this is a little different, okay? Because this fasting is not just about um, um, not just about food. We, we, that is going to be a part of what we do, a large part of what we do. However. Um, what we have found to be very effective in our time doing this in the past, um, we need to be putting some other things away. Um, we need to put down that phone for a minute. We need to put away from this entertainment for a minute and tune in with God, okay? And so what's going to happen, how you will find out about this, so we're going to put this information out on social media. We'll be able to email this to you as well and follow up the text message. You will have the full 21-day format, um, the passages in which we're going to read together, um, the time in which we will pray together um, and the time and, and what will be um, the theme for the day and or what we are praying for and or fasting for. Amen. Um, this is something I believe that we got to do. Um, we, we've got to press into the presence of God. Um, if we want to say we want more, um, there is also more that God's asking out of us and is pressing into him so um i'm going to give you the details on that that's going to be forthcoming um and you will have that information and so when the next time you receive announcements from pastor los and or we see anything on social media you will do that now one more thing he's gonna say this too y'all um as we're continuing to do this y'all like um, um folks are sick all right um folks are sick and uh, we want to make sure to um, do all that we can however we do it to protect and limit um, spread now look we still got to do life all right you hear me we still got to do life but but y'all I, I ain't man like whole families man like so I, I just had to say um, y'all be careful out there um, and, and until and, and, we're, and we're still trying to figure out some other things that we have planned for uh, for for sure this month um, and how we're going to process and move through okay but, but hear me good y'all be safe be safe and protect yourself um, because I love y'all and I want to see you well okay all right so um, Pastor Los I'm gonna give it to you I'm sorry we stirred this up but amen Wasn't that a good word? Can you give God your praise here right now? God is good. What I gather from today's service is Sister Kim, when she led us in worship, said, let us sow, let us serve. And the Spirit gave me, let us be selfless in our efforts this year in 2022. Let us sow let us serve and let us be selfless in our efforts in all of 2022. For our first time visitors, uh, Sister Daisy, can you raise your hand? If you're online, you can't see Sister Daisy because she's in the back of the church. But if you are here locally, uh, we have a gift for you if this is your first time ever visiting with us. There's a bag on that table on your way out of the sanctuary. One of those bags has your name on it. So please grab one. It's our way of saying thank you for being here with us this morning. You could have been anywhere in 2022. You decided to be with us, and we're grateful for that. So please grab a gift bag as a token of our appreciation for saying thank you for being with us here this morning. Connect cards. If you also are a first-time visitor, we would like you to fill out a connect card. They're on the table in the back with Sister Daisy, and it's a way for us to get to know you, how we can pray for you, know a little bit more about your family, and how we can help you meet your spiritual needs. So please fill out a connection card on your way out. Worship through giving. I always like to read Proverbs 3, starting at verses 9. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all of your increase, so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. 
I was listening to Pastor Dara this morning on my way in, and he was saying that the gateway to God's prosperity is through the tithe. And so make sure that, that you're giving and that you are honoring the Lord in your giving. And so for those of us who are members of this church, we take care of ourselves, but for those that are visiting, no solicitation and no pressure for you to give. But if you understand the power of sowing and reaping, the Circle Church is a good place to sow as we plan to advance the kingdom of God both locally and internationally. So please, before you depart today, worship the Lord in your giving. Wednesday, January 19th, we will have a church town hall in our annual meeting. If you are a member of this church, we would love for you to be here. If you cannot be here physically and you are a member of this church, we would love for you to tune in via Zoom. We will create an opportunity for you to do that because we want you to know what's going on with the Circle Church, where we were at the end of 2021 and where we're going in 2022. And we as a leadership team are being more consistent with the way that we conduct business here at the Circle Church of Alexandria. So please, if you're here locally on the 19th, we would love for you to be here. If you are not locally here, we would love for you to tune in and we will let you know how to do that if you're a member of this church. Men's ministry. We will meet on the 8th at Starbucks. But I'm going to put a little caveat there for you in case you're not here locally, okay? Starbucks might be open on the 8th and it might not be open. Might not have no water. Nobody might not come to work. We don't know. So we asking you to be flexible with us as men. We plan to meet at the Starbucks on 8th, but depending on what Starbucks does, we, we, we may have to move it around, all right? But 0800 to 930, you don't want to take too much of your time. The men will meet at Starbucks on MacArthur Drive, uh, for, and we would love for you to come out and fellowship with us. The men, all right? January food drive, Sister Evelyn, is she still here? Did she, she had to leave? Okay. Well, Sister Evelyn is over our, she's a part of the food bank here locally in Alexandria. And this month they asked for canned, mixed vegetables in cans. So if you brought any, today is the last Sunday for you to donate to that. And Sister Evelyn will be dropping off everything that we collected tomorrow. She will announce next week what is going to be the, the food of choice that we will be, and that's going to be an ongoing support for us here at the Circle Church. And so uh, if you did bring anything, please drop it off in the box on your way out. It is under that table with all the gift bags, but feel free to donate. And if you wanted to, but you just forgot to bring those items, just let someone in here know and we'll make sure that Sister Evelyn gets that, okay? So other than that, um, Another announcement that I have, Lisa put it on here. I didn't put it on here. But um, I think I've done a really good job of raising my children. With the, uh, with the exception of how they've decided to follow me in terms of sports teams. So my son announced before 2021 that he's a Saints fan. And I know many of you are excited about that. I, I am not. I am not excited about that. And so. Rob influenced him to be a Lakers fan, and the rest of you influenced my son to be a New Orleans Saints fan. And so I'll be praying for you, CJ, on your journey of challenging seasons year in and year out. But I'm not going to say the other two words that she put on here, but CJ announced that he's a Saints fan now. But thank you all. I, and, and I'm praying for y'all today, by the way. It's, it's, it's been rough. It's been rough for y'all. It's been rough. Me and Rob, we okay right now. Ain't that right, Rob? We, we good. We good. NFC North champions, Green Bay Packers. That's right. And Josh and Noah. That's right. We're all with one big happy family. Love you guys. But let us go to the Lord in prayer. We thank you again for being here. If y'all know me, Pastor Lowe's, that's, that's always kind of the end of the service. Kind of, I try to be funny. I don't know if some of y'all find me funny, but in a church full of Saints fans. But uh, hey, thanks for being here today. Again, Happy New Year to everybody. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, all right? Gracious God, we come to you and we just thank you so much. That was an on-time word and worship here today. I thank you so much for my brothers and sisters, a family away from my birth family. 
I thank you so much for the men and the women and the families that make up this church. We need each other. We needed each other in 2021. We will need each other in 2022. And we just thank you so much that we're here. There are so many families out there hurting. And while some of us may have experienced the prosperity of God in 2021, some of us may have experienced the blessings of God in 2021, there are many people out there that are struggling right now. And we acknowledge that. And we pray, Father God, that your presence will cover us to do something about it that we will be your hands and feet in this local community, our extended community and beyond, and that we will continue to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ by sowing into the kingdom, by serving in the kingdom, and by being selfless in our efforts in 2022. We pray that the presence that filled the hearts and minds of your people today will be the presence that follows us as we go our separate ways and until we meet you again. And we love you so much for that spirit. We love you so much that the spirit teaches us and disciples us and guides us and prepares us for a world that is full of challenge and evil. And so we thank you this morning for your presence. Father God, we lift up the people. We thank you for the people that you extended your favor and your grace and your forgiveness and your love and your mercy to this year. And I think all of us can say that we were recipients of that. And so, Father God, as your people go in 2022, we just ask you, Father, that you will continue to give them a heart to sow, a heart to serve, and a heart to be selfless. Not just to the circle of church, but wherever you have planted them. We have learned in 2021, God, that you have called us to advance your kingdom wherever you plant us. Whether that's in the school or the business place or the marketplace, you want us to be salt and light wherever we go. And so please be with all of the people in here, the children, the families, the marriages, everyone, Father. We thank you so much for the people that came in 2021. And again, we, we embrace and we are eager to see who you sent in 2022. May we be ready to love them, to walk with them, to journey with them, to disciple them. And lastly, Father, we want to take a moment to lift up Pastor Smith. Father, we, we just thank you for this man of God. We thank you for his heart. We know that he wasn't feeling well today, but he came and he showed up and he didn't quit. He came and he preached your word. And we just thank you so much, Father, for him. We lift up his wife to you again. And Father God, as, as I got a personal prayer request for Andy, who's, who's struggling with cancer right now, we, we lift up Andy and his family. We lift up his community to you right now. And we just ask you, Father, that you would give the family wisdom and, and words and that your divine health would be extended to him. We, Father God, we know that there is nothing beyond you. There is nothing impossible for you. So, Father God, we, we thank you again as we lift up your presence. We thank you again for, as we lift up your people. And we thank you again, Father God, as, as we lift up our pastor. You're a wonderful God. We love you and we thank you. Not to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen. Our service has ended. Go in peace. Have a blessed week until we see each other again. God bless you all and take care. I'll never be more loved